Welcome back to my channel, Smoking and Grilling with me, A.B. All right, so what you just saw is, I just went ahead and used this chimney. You got to get yourself one of these weed burners. Instead of putting something on the bottom of it, you know, waiting for it to get started, we're going to expedite it. So I'm here, it's myself, it's Kev, he behind the camera. We got Mad Dog back here. You guys going to see him in just a minute. Hey, we finna go ahead and get the smoker going. Anyway, we're getting ready to do our seasoning. You guys just saw this process. As soon as this uh, fully lights, and I can feel the heat up here. Once everything starts uh, getting towards, you know, becoming a little bit of white, we finna open up this box, and then we gonna go ahead and just put it inside. Here's what we getting ready to do. Got four cans of this right here, this spray cooking oil. You know what I mean? Uh, when we're like the store brand bought, trying to get this as cheap as possible. Reason being, we finna open this up. And waste some oil. <laughs> <laughs> right, right, right. So what we get ready to do is we finna spray this whole thing down. Meanwhile, we got the coals over there. Those are still going. But right now, we just finna spray this whole thing, get it uh, nice and uh, oily, then we gonna bake it. I'm gonna take you guys through the whole process. And again, what we doing is we seasoning. Hey, you gotta, you guys gotta uh, remember this. We're outside this. and we're there are outside. all types of elements that we're dealing yeah, yeah, with. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Ignore that. Hey, the dog the looking at me through the uh, crack of the gate yeah, right now. When we're done seasoning this grill, we're gonna cook that dog. <laughs> <laughs> all right, look, got it open. So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna take all the grates out. Then we're gonna go ahead and take a can, then we're gonna be able to spray, you know, both sides, spray this door, and spray that back. Then, what we're gonna do is, once we're done with that, we're gonna go ahead and add, you know, we put one grade in, we'll spray that one, we'll put this one in, we'll spray that one, and then we'll go that way. Hey, now, the reason I got Mad Dog here, because you guys seen that we did a brisket together, and that brisket was, uh, he and I doing injected versus non-injected. So, Easy here we go. season. I remember we only did, the cook was on an insulated, smoker so we didn't have to watch it the, the temperature pretty much held itself for like 12 to 14 hours this on the other hand is going to fluctuate so you're going to keep having to add wool you got to keep watching this for the entire 12 hours or for however long it takes to cook it because you have to keep feeding this beast with wood so that you keep your temperatures up remember that's the most important thing whenever you're cooking uh, ribs brisket pulled pork consistent temperatures are gonna, uh, gonna make it so that your cook times don't extend as long as they, as they should be. Shorten your cook time, more consistent, so you're not having to deal with fluctuating temperatures. Taking you guys along, here we go. All right, let's take now here, we're just removing the grates. That way when we spray it, you can get every piece of metal completely coated. And then if you look up at the top, it came with three sausage uh, hangers. So taking those out too, but we're gonna spray those individually and put them back in. I can hear the dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 All right, don't, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> you ready? All right, yeah, we, we filming now, so go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> hey, now this was like the cool part right here. Just taking the can, you know what, and just coating everything, all of the bare metal, everything that's inside of the uh, the smoke chamber. So, listen, you just want to spray it. Now, I want to say this: you can look and see some of it's kind of thick. The, the more the more you spray on there, the, probably the more you're gonna have to like wipe up because we constantly was wiping it as it was, you know, when it came up on temperature, it started doing a little running. So I guess the pro tip would be hold your, you know, your can sp can of spray about five inches away and just coat it. You can probably go even further with that. And then as you can see, we left one grade in, and what we're doing is right here, when I pulled it out, I sprayed it in the back. Every piece must be coated. Now, as I start installing the grates back in, we started coating them, you know, one by one. And then from there on, you know, it's, it's really like self-explanatory, but you wanna make sure that you get it everywhere. Look, I got it everywhere, even places where meat's not gonna touch. The main thing is you want that bare metal, metal to have that cooking spray, you know, sprayed on it. Now, check it out. You saw me spray down all of the sides, did the grates, put them back inside. Everything is completely coated with some cooking spray. Now I'm ready to close it up, and then we are gonna go ahead and work on the grip. Got this closed, now we'll open this part up. And what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna spray this down, I'm gonna wipe it off, clean it up, and then I'm gonna go ahead and spray it, and then we're gonna go ahead and put some fire in this box. Mm -hmm. Got 
got the coals. Get ready to dump these in the inside right here. Take some of the bark, some of the kindling. We're just gonna add this on top just to help get it started, you know, just a little bit quicker. Now, as you can see, listen, when you put those small sticks or bark or whatever, anything small, we call that kindling. It helps get you a fire quick to help start those larger logs. Okay, look, you saw me just put the fire in there. You can see the smoke kind of like going out that way. It's coming out the same way the door is open. But if you come around this way, I'm gonna just show you. You got two chimneys up top. These are the vents. So listen, I'm gonna open it. And there, now you're starting to get some draw. Open this one over here, and there you go. So now we're starting to get some circulation. There won't be as much smoke coming out the other side. So now we're starting to get some draw. It'll start heating up inside the box, and we'll go from there. Now, kindling caught. You see the coals going. What I'm getting ready to do is, I'm getting ready to put one of these logs on here. We'll just go ahead and put it on top. We got a nice fire going. And then what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna close this door a little bit. And then we're gonna let that go ahead and, uh, you know, heat up. And then we're gonna start monitoring the temperature that's inside the box. Now remember, the easiest way to get your fire started is kindling one log, which I have right there. And after that, once the base is caught, then we start adding more logs to it. Now we're gonna add another one. Add it like that. And then this one here, I'll just put on top. Listen, we're gonna leave the door open because we want to get maximum draw. So listen, it's all coming in this way, coming out the chimney and going that way. I'm gonna close it just a little bit just to force some of that heat in the inside. But right now, the main thing is I want to get these logs and get them cut, you know, get those caught and get those lit so that we can start producing some real heat. All right, now, listen, we got it up to 450 degrees. Let that bake for about, I think we let that uh, bake for about two hours. Now we got it like minimized a little bit. We got it at 350 degrees. We're gonna let that just continue till these uh, logs burn out. I'm gonna take the camera around and show you guys just how we got it set up. Look, got the door completely closed. Man, standing close to this, I can feel the heat coming off of this right now. But everything is baking good. We were looking at the uh, griddle plate. The griddle plate looks uh, good also. Again, we had 350 degrees on both of these. 350 here, 350 there. We got both of the uh, ducts up top. Both of those are open. And then again, I'm gonna take you guys around so you can just see, you know, the setup. It's been holding this 350. Uh, I just actually put another log on it. It went from about 325 to 350. And uh, I'm gonna show you that also. But I just wanna say, hey, listen, this is just like the, the seasoning for it. I like how it's coming along. It's kind of like quick. It burned off all of the fingerprints and all of that on here. Uh, you got that blue translucent uh, uh, heat wave coming off the top. And listen, I'm from Los Angeles, so listen, a lot of us, we always thought that when you get a lot of smoke, and I'm gonna say us, because that was including myself, listen, when you get all of that smoke, that's no good, folks. You're not doing nothing but putting that dirty smoke on your food. Hey, it took me a long time to learn that, but now I got it. I got what I'm looking for. I got a quantity Lone Star, you know, grill right here. Hey, this smoker right here is gonna do it. We getting ready to do some briskets. And I keep saying briskets, because man, I got a brisket out there for, with somebody name on it. Hey, so let me take you guys around. Let me show you that. And then I'm gonna bring you back. We finna open this up so I can just show you what it looks like, show you the grate, show you the back. And after that, we finna wrap this up. You open that, you can see she's been burning some logs. I can't really get down there in there, but you can see right there, look, it's burning, burning real nice. You know, the heat, this is that clean smoke. The heat travels inside the smoker and then it goes from there. Now I'm gonna close this back. We're gonna let this burn out. Now I'm gonna bring you guys. Now you wanna take a look at this right here. As you can see, look, you can see how it's starting to bake on there. That's all that cooking spray. So if you wanna look at it, look at it this, like this. This is nothing but a giant cast iron skillet. All we doing is seasoning the skillet. So what we doing is just keep seasoning, you know, the smoker. But this is it. You can see, look right here. You can see the look, the drips, how it kind of like stock, but this is coating it. And listen, the more and more I cook on this, the thicker and thicker this gets. And now I'm finna show you what the griddle looks like. There we go, we started to get a, that color on it. Listen, we gonna keep seasoning this until we get it right. But it won't be long before I can put an omelet on here 
and then it'll be your original non-stick surface. Hey, so there you have it. A seasoned Lone Star vertical stick burner. Look, heat on this side, you got your smoking chamber on this side. Next time I get ready to use it, we're getting ready to start playing with those baffle plates. We gotta figure that out, find out where the hot zones are and all of that. So I think I'm gonna start off with like a pork butt or something like that. Maybe put a couple of ribs somewhere up here at the top. I know this one thing though, listen, you know, I know heat rises. So listen, you get a lot of heat up at the top, you know, and it just passing through here. I guess it accumulates and then it pulls out of this way. But from what I know about draw, listen, it comes out of the firebox, the heat over here is probably gonna come and we know it's gonna be the hottest up here at the top, but it'll be the left hand side. So. I'm gonna figure all that out. I'm gonna take you guys with me. And once we get that set, we're getting ready to do a brisket. But I wanna make sure we got it. You know, we got it all set. Right now, I like the way the seasoning is going. I'm gonna go ahead and let this continue to burn. I'm not gonna put nothing out. We're just gonna let it bake until the fire completely burns out. And after that, we're gonna go from there. Hey, so thank you guys for watching. You know what, uh, hope you guys learned something. Listen, I'm learning. You can learn right along with myself. Hey, so listen, if you're new to my channel, let me just go ahead and say, hey, thank you for watching. You know what? Don't forget to subscribe, like this video. You know what? Let me know down in the comment section below if you want to see more of these videos using this Lone Star Grill or, you know, any type of grill because I told you guys it's time to live up to my name. Outside of that, I just want to say thank you, and I'm out of here, you guys. Peace.